Hello everyone, welcome again to Hybrid Accounts. And we are just going to take a look on, on expected opportunity loss. What is an expected opportunity loss? It's simply the summation of regret and the probabilities for a given decision, right? Okay, so uh, you are given this payoff table here. This table is already given to you. It's given payoff table. And you need to determine the expected opportunity loss. It's one of the methods uh, of expected value approach that can be used to make a decision. But here, you, you know, we have the decisions to make. It's either maybe you need to purchase one 100 units or to purchase 120 units or to purchase 140 units. Now you need to make a decision here based on this uh, expected opportunity loss approach. But you are told that these figures in the table here, these figures will be are just payoffs. Are they just payoffs? That's why you are told this is the payoff table. So first of all, you need to convert the payoffs to the regrets. Convert payoffs to the regret, right? What is a regret? You know the regret. You know the meaning of the regret. That the regret is the, you take the highest payoff in an event and you minus all payoffs in that event. That's what I uh, need to do right here. All right. Let's start now. These ones are the vertical lines are the decisions and the states of nature or events are on horizontal. So just ask yourself, when the demand is 100, which choice would you have made? At the demand of 100, I would, these are the choices, I have these three choices here. I would choose to purchase 100 units because I end the maximum amount, that is 200,000. So to obtain the regrets is simple. You just take 2,000 and you minus all other values in this line. So 200,000 minus 20,000 equals to zero. 200,000 minus 190,000 equals to 10,000. And 200,000 minus 180,000 equals to 20,000. So that's what you obtain in this figure here, right? 200,000 minus 200,000, 200,000 minus 190,000, and 200,000 minus 180,000. That's what, how you have arrived in that figure. So you proceed all the way. You just come to the other states of nature, this one, and you ask yourself, when the demand is 120, if I purchase 100, I would obtain 182,000. I purchase 120, I would obtain 240,000. I purchase 140, I would obtain 230,000. So the obvious choice here would be 240. So you have to compare among these values here. You take the highest, that is 240, and you minus all others. So 240 minus 192 equals 48. 240 minus 240 equals to zero, and 240 minus 230 equals to 10. So that this is what you will encounter and find out here, 48, zero, and 10,000, right? And that's what we obtained up here, zero, 10,000, and 20,000, right? Okay, and we finish up with the last state of nature. When the demand is 140, uh, these ones are the options. The highest value is the purchase of 140 that gives you to 80,000. So just take 80,000 and you minus the rest. So 280 minus 280 equals to zero, 280 minus 232 equals to 48, and 280 minus 184 equals to 96. So that's what we're just going to obtain here. Yeah? I would have 96,000, 48,000, and zero. This is what I would obtain. It's other probability are just forbidden. Now, to obtain the expected opportunity loss, you just go for each decision. For the purchase of 100 units, how do you obtain that? If the, if the formula stated that you take the regret times the probability. So I take the regret zero, I multiply by 0 0.4, then I plus 48 times 0 0.25, then plus 96 times 0 0.35, and you will obtain 45,600. And then you come to the other decision of the purchase of 120 units. So 10,000 times 0 0.4, which is 4,000. 0 times 0 0.25, which is 0. And for the 8,000 times 0 0.35, you get those values and you add them up to arrive at 20,800. And the last point here, 20,000, I mean for the purchase of 140 units. 20,000 times 0 0.4, that is 8,000. 10,000 times 0 0.25, that is 2,500. If you sum them, you get 10,500. And lastly, 0 times 0 0.35, which is 0. So 
I will end up with this value of 10,500. Now, since this is the regret and it is expected opportunity loss, the company would wish to minimize the opportunity loss. So you just take the minimum value here. The minimum value is this one, 10, because these ones are, are, are higher. So the minimum EOL equals to 10,500, and this gas HA should purchase 140 super H. The cost 10,500 correspond to the decision of purchasing 140. So using the expected opportunity loss or using the expected monetary value, actually, you would end up with the same, same decision, right? Now, just as a recap, we say that in case maybe you are given the question that you told that in case you are given any events that are equally likely, I'm speaking of probability. Suppose the question does not give you probabilities, but you are told the events are equally likely. Let's say you have four events. Uh, you just The probability of which event will just be equal to one over n. So simply speaking, let's say you have four equally, independent, equally likely events. You just take one over four and you will have 0 0.25 for all events. So that's all about expected opportunity loss. And next in line would be the value of information, right? We will have perfect information and the imperfect information and all of that, but we'll actually will see later. So thank you very much and until next time.